Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends, to your friends' friends. That's the only way you can keep me going, refreshed and inspired. Also, if you if my videos are helpful in your studies, please don't forget to subscribe. So determine the maximum value of the following reaction at B shear at C, moment at center, and the absolute maximum moment. So we have here the loads and the uh, distance between the leftmost and the rightmost loads is 14, so this is 25 meters and the span is 30 meters. So that means for Reaction at B, we allow the movement from left to right of the loads, then there will be an incoming load, uh, there will be no incoming load rather, because 25 is less than 30. So the criterion to be used for reaction would be WH over L minus P1. So delta B due to reaction is WH over L minus P1. So when this load, 80 kN load, is over B, then definitely there will be no minus P1. So initially, the sign is positive. So next, we move the loads so that this 80 kN load will be passing B and this next 80 kN loads will be over B. So the W would be 80 plus 100 plus 60, those loads that remain on the span, 240. H is 11 divided by L, which is 30, then minus P1, which is 80. So delta VR equals 240 times 11 over 30 minus 80. And the sign is still positive. So that means we allow next uh, the 100 kilonewton loads to be over B. This is our P1 and uh, W would be when the 100 kilonewton load is over B. W would be 100 plus 60, 160. This is our P1 and H is 6. So delta VR is 160 times 6 over 30 minus 80 this time it is negative so that means the preceding position of loads satisfies uh, the criterion so that is the 80 this 80 kilonewton loads over B satisfies the criterion therefore RB max can now be computed so this is the position of the loads that gives maximum RB. So to solve for RB max, we sum up moments about A0 equals 0. And so we have RB max times 30 equals 80 times 30. And 30 minus 6 is 24, so plus 100 times 24. 24 minus 8 is 16, so plus 60 times 16. So solving for RB max, RB max equals 182 kN. Next, for V sub C, we move the loads from right to left. And since 8 plus 6 plus 11 is 25 greater than 20, then there will be an incoming load. So our criterion would be WH for shear at C, WH over L minus P1 plus P1H over L, then plus PD over L. So WH over L minus P1 plus P1H over L plus PD over L. So first, when the 60 kN load is over C, so there will be no entering load and there will be no P1. So initially it will 
have a sign of positive. So we then next move the 100 kilonewton load to be over C. When that happens, then our P1 is 60, our H is 8, and take note that this 80 kilonewton load will now enter the span because initially when the 60 kilonewton load was over C, it was out of span, it was here. Now that the 100 kilonewton load is over C, then because this is 17, so that means the 80 kilonewton load enters 3 meters. So that 6 plus 11, 17 plus 3 is 20 meters. So our W is the 100 kilonewton load is over C. So our W is 60 plus 100 plus 80, that's 240. H is 4. Then this is P. H is 8 rather. H is 8. Then minus P1 which is 60. Then plus P1 plus 60 times 8 over 30. Plus 80 times 3 over 30. So it enters a distance D of 3 and divided by L30. So it is still positive. Next, we move the 80 kN load over C and take note that the 60 kN load will be off span. So our W, there will be no incoming load because this already entered the 80 kN load. So our W would be 100 plus 80 plus 80, that would be 260. H is 6 and P1 is 100 and no incoming load so this is now 0 so delta V sub C is 260 times 6 over 30 minus 100 then plus 100 times 6 over 30 this term here and it is now negative Therefore, the preceding position of load satisfy, satisfies the criterion. That is, the 100 kilonewton load over C gives maximum shear at C. So that would be the position of loads that gives maximum shear at C. So if the reaction at A is computed first, then the shear at C is RA minus 60. So take note that shear at C is positive downward. So it is RA minus 60 considering forces to the left. So let's solve for RA. So summation moment B equals 0. RA times 30 equals 60 times 28 plus 100 times 20 plus 80 times 14 because 20 minus 6 is 14 plus 80 times 3 because 14 minus 11 is 3 so 80 times 3 so R sub A is equal to 168 kilonewtons therefore the maximum shear at C is R A minus 60 168 minus 60 so the maximum shear at C is 108 kilonewtons Next, for the moment at the center, our criterion delta M equals W over L minus W1 over A, where, a, where L is 30 and A is half of 30, which is 15. So delta M equals W over 30 minus W1 over 15 equals 0. Or delta M is W over 2 minus W1. So first, the 60 kilonewton load, assume the movements of the loads from right to left, the 60 kilonewton load would be just to the left of the center. It 
was just to the right so there will be no minus w1 so it is positive but if it is just to the left of the center then this is part of w1 so take note that the center is 15 meters from the right and because 8 plus 6 is 14 then the 80 kilonewton load is still off span so we only consider these forces so w is 240 240 over 2 and minus 60 because 60 is just to the left of the center so it is positive next is the 100 kilonewton load is just to the right of the center So still this is out of place, outside, and W would still be 240, and W1 would still be 60. So it is positive because we have 240 over 2 minus 60 when the 100 kN load is just to the right of the center. But if the 100 kN load is just to the left of the center, then W would still be 240 over 2, then minus W1. W1 would now consist of uh, 160 or 160. So delta M would be 240 over 2 minus 60 plus 100, and this time it is negative. So that means the preceding position, the 100 kN load, would be just to the right of the center or simply the 100 kN load over the center gives uh, or satisfies the criterion or maximum moment at the center. And take note that the 100 kN load is the heaviest load and the next is 80 which is also close to its other. Therefore, there is no further investigation. We are sure that the maximum moment at the center of course where this 100 kilonewton load is over the center so let's analyze it so to compute the maximum moment at the center and we must solve for ra and after that we take moments about the center so maximum moment at the center is ra times 15 minus 60 times 8 so that's the working equation so to solve for ra we sum up moments about b equal to 0 so ra times 30 then equal 60 times 23 8 plus 15 is 23 plus 100 times 15 and plus 80 times 15 minus 6 is 9, so plus 80 times 9. And this is included because that's out of span. So R sub A is 120 kN. So maximum moment at the center is 120 times 15. And minus 60 times 8. So the maximum moment at the center or the mid span is 120 kilonewton meter. So finally, for absolute maximum moment, it occurs closer to the 100 kilonewton load. So if the resultant would be 60 plus 100 plus 80, that's 240 also. And we will call the distance from between R and the 100 kilonewton load as E, that's our reference. So 240 by Verigdon's theorem, 240 times E equals 80 times 6 minus 60 times 8. So because E is 0, that means the center line, which is also the position of the 100 kilonewton load and the position of the resultant. Therefore, the absolute maximum moment is also 1320 because E is 0. So that's it for this problem.